Hello, Tubies. Today is no, it's Sunday, November 24th, and it is Sunday. And I thought I would address and show you guys what my working altar, whoops, sorry about that, my working altar now looks like. There are some changes, as you can see, and I still have my shoebox right here, but the biggest one you might notice is that there's a lot of black, and that's to reflect the, uh, the season. It's the dark half of the year, and I really wanted my altar to show that fact. I actually had a, uh, a black tablecloth that uh, was like the, the cheap vinyl plastic stuff you get at the dollar store. That was on here, but my cats went crazy and shredded it. <laughs> so that didn't work. I ended up just washing and reusing the same beige tablecloth that I had um, on here during the summer. So until I get more real tablecloth, as in actual fabric and not just vinyl plastic, <laughs> this will be what I'll be using. And I swapped out, I actually had another shawl that was white, and I swapped that out for my black one. I have two white ones and one black one. Um, I didn't actually buy those. They were just given to me. One, two of them were given to me because they were in the, like my aunt bought a couple and she never used them, they were still in the packaging, so I took them. My sister had one that she used for prom as a wrap, and then she never touched it again. So I took that when she, after she let it sit around for like two years and never using it. And, uh, yeah, so, here we go. Um, one of the main things you will notice is that it's very clear. There's not much on here anymore. This feels so much better to me. The other one, I had not realized how chaotic and crammed full of stuff it had been. This is just so much better. I have a piece of, a uh, plastic lining for, um, like a rubber lining that you get in the roll that's supposed to go on shelves and drawers and things like that. There's a strip of it under here, underneath my uh, my shawl, and that's why it's so dark on the top. Then there's the box, and the box is actually covered in my scarf that has um, like a silvery threading through it, so that's why this looks sparkly. And then I have um, three bowls, these two. It's so black that you can't really see it, but this is just one of those sauce bowls that you really get. Um, just for dipping sauces. I bought four of these. They're black. They match my um, my plate set, of which two of my plates broke, and we'll have to go and replace those. But this one is for water. This one is for um, grain, seeds, herbs, food, things like that. These are two offering bowls. This is one of the bowls that I've been using with a stone that fits into my hand. I kind of use it like this. So I just grind it up. I don't actually have um, any way of grinding up stuff except for using this. So this is my makeshift mortar and pestle. And since this is all like the really thick porcelain type um, bowls, it works pretty well. Not as well as, you know, a grinder would or an actual mortar and pestle, but it's okay. I can make do with it. And of course, this is my, uh, my big rose quartz that looks totally white. I'll have to adjust the settings in there. And then I have some of my other stones inside. Um, Malachi Adventurine, my other rose quartz, a shiny river stone that I just adore. I also have another Adventurine in um, my money bowl. Actually, it's over here. I have not put it back yet. I haven't cleared off the second thing right here. So basically, I have this here, and it's in the middle of all my loose change that I try to keep hidden from my boyfriend because he likes to steal it. And considering it was originally his in the beginning, I can't really say too much, but I'm trying not to deplete um, my wealth. I'm trying to make it grow, so that's working against me. And that's another story for another day. So I have my incense burner, the one with the three dragon heads. Bought that at Walmart. And then I have uh, my meditation candle, which is burnt down pretty well now. Pretty soon I'll have to get a new one. And I have it on this candle holder, which I got from Kohl's ages ago. It's a smaller one. They have a larger one. But the smaller one was still like 20 bucks originally. I didn't pay that much for it, of course, but you know how that goes. goes. And then this is a marble thing. I think it's meant to um, be one of those, you know, cutting boards, but it's marble. And on top of it, I have marble candle holders I found at the Goodwill. My snuffer my candy dish that I like putting up behind there just because it looks pretty 
and I also have my two frames. What I'll probably be doing with the frames actually is be using both of the wooden ones because I have two wooden ones like this. So this one I'm not sure what I'll be doing with, but I'll probably use both of them. My intention with these frames are not to really be pictures of what I think of our deity, but to hold prayer cards. One, I intend to hold a prayer card for the current deity that I'm working with because I want to start working with a variety of deities because I don't have a matron and patron and, and I haven't really worked with any deities so far. So that's something I really want to branch into, slowly testing out, feeling the energies, maybe starting along the path of finding a matron or patron, or at least a deity that I feel very comfortable with. So one will be for deities and the other one will be for um, whatever it is I happen to be working on at that time personally, spiritually, etc. such as self-esteem, whatever. It'll be a prayer card basically with a symbol on one side and on the back um, will be an actual mantra, chant, prayer, whatever. And that'll be for both of them. Um, yeah, so whenever I really want to invoke the deity or do the chant or mantra, then if I have not memorized it by then, I'll probably flip it over on the other side or take it out completely, which I know is like pain in the butt and everything, but since there's so many candles on here and the, the possibility of any kind of um, paper getting ruined, I'm thinking that putting it in a frame will probably be best to preserve the paper in general. So that's my altar. So, and as you can see up above a little bit, I have my purple um, fan that I use to direct the incense in ritual, things like that. It looks more black, but it's actually a dark purple and it's handmade from the Philippines. Um, that was given to me, I did not buy it. And then I have this, which my mother gave to me years and years and years ago. And it's just a, um, well, you can see it, I mean, really can't see it from that far back, but it's a dream catcher with blue and white feathers, dyed, artificial. There are pretty little beads in the center, blue and white, and it's got a heart right here. So I've had this thing since I was maybe 15, 14. So I've kept it. It's been through hell and back. As you can see, the the feather doesn't really stay put anymore. It's kind of broken and just barely hanging in there. So I try not to mess with it too much, even though it hangs down where it's not supposed to be. Um, but yeah. And that's about all that's really changed in this area. I have not actually cleared off the other side because it's still full of stuff that I had on my old altar, both on top and underneath. So I'll have to be, I'll have to deal with that probably later today. And that is my altar. So Instead of taking up more of your time and gabbing, 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 because I like to do that, I will just end it on this. So, thank you for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.